she got an A in her name, she crazy. If she got two A's in her name, <laughs> run. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Aziza. Okay, so tell us about your skincare routine. Skincare routine, um, I mix it up. Most of it, like, it consists of tears, because salt really helps with the acne. You're kafir. Yo, you're kafir. You're a kafir. My YouTube channel guys, today I'm going to make a new video, so please whatever, please sub, I want to reach. Assalamu alaikum sister, how much is your mother? <laughs> Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me wanna dribble dribble, you know, right it in my fear. You really have to see it. <clears throat> Girl, we're going to Islam. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Did anybody see in that thing? Oh my god, oh, obviously <laughs> not. Isn't a joke, it's so bad. Demons are gonna torture you. You're gonna be burned, you're gonna be stabbed, you're gonna be raped, you're gonna be whipped. You can't even cry for help. No, but if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed. Think you're something. <laughs> You like it? The fuck is this with your broke ass? What? It, what? That's why I don't talk to your broke ass. It's about you the, broke. It's about the meaning. Of That's not Chanel. It's about get out of my face. Oh my God, you're so pretty. I hate you. Thank you so much. Could you um, say mashallah? Sorry, what was that at the end? Oh, nothing, nothing. Could you just say mashallah, please? Sorry, I don't speak Middle Eastern. Right, right. No, I, I get it. Could you just um say it, though? Why are you so mad? I said you look pretty. I know, and thank you so much. It's just you added that I hate you after, and then you didn't say mashallah, so like, could you say it? You know what else? Your hair is so pretty. Stop. You are just the healthiest girl. I get your ki <coughs> kidding. Please. <coughs> I am so happy you're alive. Wait. <gasps> I'm mad. Oh, huh, mama. I was just searching through your laptop history because I was bored. Wait, wait, you were searching through my laptop history? Yes, I was searching through your laptop history. Why are you acting like that's a surprise? <laughs> Whatever happened to privacy? Or, oh, Habibi, you want privacy? If you want privacy, go move out. Habibi, get married. Anyways, what did you see on my laptop history? Menu Dua Lipa. Ulesh, why are you searching hot pics Dua Lipa? Who? What? Muhammad, Hada, it's haram. Do you know that? Haram! <laughs> you got it, you got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. Mama, it's not Dua Lipa, it's Dua Lipa. I've been, I've been looking up Dua, I'm trying to get into it. Oh, okay, Habibi, wallah. Oh, she knows Lipa, Menu Lipa. It's, it's like an academy. Uh, Lipa, it's an academy for like they teach you Quran and everything. Dua Lipa, so it's like that. And the hot pics, it's because it's hot outside. I wanted to see the sun reflecting on the building that they're teaching. <sighs> Mashallah, Habibi, I'm ha I'm fine. Sorry, Habibi, I'm happy you're finally getting involved in this stuff. It's, mama, it kind of hurts me that you don't trust me. You know what I mean? Like I'm grown now. 
شكو عقولي حمودي حبيبي هيز جوينج تو دو ليبا انتو يا دو ليبا اي ذا اكاديمي دو ليبا ما شاء الله شي واز ات ذا اكاديمي اووردز شي واز ات ذا اكاديمي اووردز من الشي ما ها دو ليبا ذا سينجر اشوف عاد اوذر تايم على فيسبوك حلوه والله شي شيز ذا وان هو فاندد ذا اكاديمي شي يو تراين تو راش الفا لامدا ميو Like as an Alif Lam meme? Ha! Huh. Who did you know? A uh, Kareem and uh, Muhammad. <laughs> bro, we don't have a Muhammad here, no, bro. What? I swear Only you Mo money. All right, bro. I'm gonna need you to recite a surah, top to bottom. Uh, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Ah! Uh, Rahman. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, what no. Nope. You're gonna have to take a lap, brother. You're gonna uh, have to take oh, a lap, take a toe off around the house no. real quick. Uh, yeah. No, no please, it's not I cutting it. No Bismillah. That's an astaghfir Allah, bro. <laughs> Give me one good reason I should let you in, bro. I brought drinks, Habibi. You brought drinks, yo. Yes, 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 yes. I knew everyone was fasting today, oh. so I brought this. You brought of waters. Course. You're welcome. Mashallah, bro. You're valid. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Halal, bro. Jazakallah khairan. <laughs> well, that's my life. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it, because I know I did. Did you know if you zoom into a pair of jeans, you can see a bunch of people praying. Check this out. Hey, yo, this actually works. Look at all these brothers praying together with their white topis on. Mashallah. So halal mode. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill, which is why one day I'm going to open up a hospital. Did you guys know that? If you type Muhammad, then type FDFA, then press Alt X. This happens. Well, there's... This girl, she's got these eyes that just, and this hair, wow, and her smile. <sighs> Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Do not bring that European nonsense into this ethnic household. Do you understand me? I explained everything to him, but you should have seen him a minute ago. He was so traumatized. There's a special place in people in hell, like people for. Uh, there's a special place in hell for people like you. Her. He said, "Yeah." Actually, I'm still pretty rusty in the shark language. I might have accidentally told him that that was his brother on the wall. Didn't mean to. I took it back though immediately. But I'm getting better by the day. You would not believe how hard it is. Her. He said, "Absolutely." I'm sure you've seen this couple all over TikTok. They're really cute and all, but what in the world is this? This is his justification. This is my best friend. I grew up with her, and that is my wife. So guys, don't worry. They are very good friends. My brother, where is your dignity? You have a wife, and you're sleeping over at another woman's place. You say she's your best friend. Your only best friend should be your wife. As a Muslim man, you know such relationships with other women besides your wife is unacceptable. You say your wife says it's okay. You should know it's not okay. As your older brother, I'm telling you it's not okay. It's disrespectful and unloyal to your wife, and no woman out there should accept such behaviors from her husband. If your wife wants to be friends with her, let her be friends, but you should respectfully cut off all relationships and set some boundaries. Smile. It's sunnah and have some honor. Can you beat your wife in Islam? Actually, yes. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did it himself. According to this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam beat Aisha radhiyallahu anha in a running race. All jokes aside, he sallallahu alaihi wasallam never hit his wives, children, or servants, and you shouldn't either. My phone's on six percent. Let me just do this short and quick. So I'm working today, Allah ibarak aliya money money, and some little boy power. Rangers come to me at the till. He jib the backpack that Spider Man. How do you call backpack scooters? What is that? How do you call backpack scooters? Whatever they're called. He's like, excuse me, how much is this? And bear in mind where I work, so I'm dumb and stuff. And then I was like, oh, let me just let me just scan that for you one second. I scan it for him. It's ninety pounds. We clue all ninety. Oh, okay. My goodish all I want it. So I put it back. I put it back for plus tap. He comes again after uh, twenty minutes. Excuse me, 
Where's that thing that I gave you early run? Wish no. That's my yatfal. I was like, oh, you didn't tell me if you wanted her, and I said, just put it back. I just put it back. She gulli. She gulli. Yeah, nest she gulli. Have a Oh no, I wanted it. And they're staring at me like this. Where's the bella? I'm gonna go again. The man better can only wish no. Yeah, nest. If only it was something light. I had to pick her up on my back, hunchback, yak samak. You want me to scan that? When you don't want her, when you don't want her, look. And she and the mother was looking at me. Wish no teeth on you, and look. I was like, oh yeah, it's just over there if you want to go get it again. Mother's Zama looking at me like, Wish no, wish no, I need to come on that. They were really, yeah, I wanted it. I wanted it, go get it. Anyways, moral of the story, guys. Don't settle for less at work. Hmm, funny. Yes, but not funny, haha. -ha. Funny weird. <laughs>
in the whole car. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. No more, no more. <laughs> You're such a good Muslim. Mashallah. Make dua for me. Don't look at me. Look for Allah. So today, I am for sure the reason why there is one more Islamophobe in the world <laughs> walking around. Me and my sister are driving. We weren't driving. You were driving. Are, Don't put this on. Are me. we in the car? We're in the car. But so you're we're driving. The vehicle. <laughs> All right. We cut this guy off really badly. <laughs> By and accident. We, we get to a stoplight. He pulls up next to us fuming. He takes one look at this. <laughs> His face turns to disgust immediately. You mean to tell me he didn't mumble? Mm, Haji terrorist right <laughs> under his breath. He didn't. I know I'm going to lose a lot of followers with this one, but oh well. I want to convert to Islam. I've wanted to for a long time. And only because I don't have the right resources and I haven't gone through the process have I not fully converted. And when I told my friends that I wanted to convert, who lost a couple of them. And when I told my family I wanted to convert, she's joining a cult. But let me tell you something. Growing up in this world with no religion, no guidance. It didn't do anything for me. Okay? Oh, those poor oppressed Muslim women in their hijabs. Go ask them about their lives. Everybody needs guidance. And I decided to go with the religion that I feel is going to guide me the best. And if that doesn't work for you, cool. But I will not be made to feel that I am doing something wrong because I want to give myself to a religion. My mom's argument is, you're gonna make your son get on his hands and knees on a fucking mat and pray five times a day? Meanwhile, this is the same lady that says, thank you God, at 11, 11, 333, 444. I said, if there was just a couple more times on the clock that were all the same number, maybe you could join the religion. I don't think that anything in life is perfect, except for God. So I'm gonna just give it up to him. Assalamu alaikum. Islam. Alaikum salam. Bro, you're actually funny. Well, I knew that. A lot of people know that. I'm, I'm okay. What's getting me is the actually. We're literally on our way to Masjid Al Aqsa right now, where all the recent matchings have been happening. We're staying in Bethlehem. And this is what it looks like. It's like a normal street. So inshallah, we get through. Inshallah, everything's fine. But that right there is the Damascus Gate, the main gate to get into the old city, Palestine. So you actually really, really get the vibe of the old city right now. There's literally soldiers everywhere and it's very, very intimidating. I can't even lie. Like, I feel like I can't even walk in peace here. So can you just imagine how it is for the Palestinians that live here? When I speak to Palestinians, they always say the same thing. They're very, very blessed. Even with all the hardship they're going through, they keep saying they're blessed. Think about that. Wow. SubhanAllah, we made it. And look over there. Man's here. SubhanAllah. Wow. Wow. I promise you, yeah, it's literally nothing but good vibes over here. Yeah. We made it. And it's so beautiful. Guys, that's where the windows got smashed that you've all been seeing on your FYP. But right now it's just pure peace, wallah. I'm never going back to the doctors again and I'm going to tell you why. So last time I went, I went because I'm anemic and I was trying to get some tips and tricks from my doctor and she was giving me these tips and tricks. And then after she gave me these tips and tricks, she said that if you do not follow these tips and tricks, you're going to get worse dark eye circles and you're going to get uglier. And now I'm not going back again because I'm depressed. Wait, that's actually kind of smart. Make your patients depressed, they come back to you, and then you prescribe stuff, and you get more money. 
If I was doctor, I'd do the same thing. MashaAllah, Imam's finally got a wife. Salaamu alaykum, my man. Here's the wife. Bricks, I'm in the bar. The rule with new Muslims must follow. Let go. As soon as you convert, you must decide which sect you're in. Sunni or Shia. Now that you're Muslim, you must follow every rule in the Quran to a T. Now that you're Muslim, it's time to start forcing other people to convert. For men, it's time to start looking for the first, second, third, and fourth wife. I'm here to apply for third wife position. Women must cover their heads upon conversion. No exceptions. Get ready to remove all your past friends. And don't forget family members. Get ready to change your name and throw your culture away. Get ready to learn that none of this is true. Every new Muslim has their own journey and pace. So anyone can convert? Obviously! Hmm. Funny. Yes. But not funny. Haha. Ha. Funny weird. Oh, oh. Muslim. Yes. Were you raised Muslim or did that come later? No, came later. Okay, so you were raised like, Christian? Yeah, like my daddy was. I'm here in the feds, but he like the preacher for the Muslim. And then like, like even growing up, like when I was going to church, and I used to ask like, um, like you know, Jesus was on the wall. And I'm like, this him? And they'd be like, no, this ain't the real him. It's just what they, and I'm like, wait, hold on. I'm confused now. Like that's when you start answering questions. You know what I'm saying? So I never really believed in Jesus from the get-go. And then I just have a conversation with my daddy and um, even Rallo. And just like some of my Muslim friends, brothers, and just politicking with them and talking to them. And then I just decided to just convert over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still learning everything. Like, I want to be like a master man. Like, I want to know every, every situation. You know I love messing with you girls. All right, this is a put a finger down challenge. Muslim edition. Put 10 fingers up. 10 fingers, each of them represents $10,000 for a total of 100K for your mahir. Each time you put a finger down, you lose $10,000. You ready? Put a finger down if you cannot read the Quran. Put a finger down if you cannot tell the difference between zakat al-mal and zakat al-fitr. Put a finger down if you don't know the story about Abraham visiting Yusuf and telling his wife that she's a bad block for the house. Put a finger down if you don't know the percentage of your inheritance. Put a finger down if you don't know how many months there are in the Islamic calendar. Put a finger down if you don't know what is the Islamic calendar. Put a finger down if you can't name the three most holiest mosques to Islam. Put a finger down if you don't know how many surahs there are in the whole Quran. Put a finger down if you don't know more than six surahs in the whole Quran. Put a finger down if you don't pray. 